I am a Trill. Some among my people are lucky enough to be joined with a symbiotic life form. We share our bodies with them, and in return they share lifetimes of knowledge and memories with us. I am Khan's seventh host, and most of us have been scientists. My predecessor, Lenara Khan, was working to create artificial wormholes. I studied the effects of supernova. Goodbye. In 2387, the star in the Hoba system went supernova. The resulting explosion devastated the planets in the system, of course. But then it created a chain reaction that cut a path of destruction more than 500 light years long. More than a dozen systems were affected by the Hobus event. Most notably, the Romulus system. Both Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Billions lost their lives. The thing is, an M-class planet like Romulus should have been protected by its stellar magnetosphere and its planetary magnetic field. They act like shields to protect the planet from radiation, and a supernova blast is highly energetic radiation. If the supernova is large enough, it will overwhelm those defenses, but the Romulans should have had decades to prepare for the wave's arrival. As it was, they only had hours. Goodbye. Ambassador Spock attempted to organize an evacuation, but the Romulan Senate refused. I guess they thought they had more time. That was a horrible time. Ambassador Spock had a plan to stop the wave, but after the destruction, a Romulan named Nero blamed him. Nero had a ship of awesome power. We still don't know everything about the Narada, but we think the Romulans used Borg technology to create it. Nero destroyed dozens of our ships, and even attacked a Klingon fleet led by General Worf. I hear Worf barely survived. Ultimately, Nero confronted Spock in the Hobus system. Spock managed to use red matter to create an artificial singularity to contain the worst of the supernova's blast, but... Both he and Nero were lost. Goodbye. In a word, troubled. Sela rules what remains of the Star Empire and isn't shy about using the Tal Shiar and the military to bring systems back into the fold. Meanwhile, Ditan and his unificationists have formed the Romulan Republic. The Federation and the Klingons recently recognized them at Kittimer, while Empress Sela and her allies express their disapproval violently. Tensions remain high. The Remans have formed a resistance movement in response to Imperial persecution. There's a lot of bad blood between Remans and Romulans that could end rather poorly. Even more troubling are reports concerning Taurus, the former Imperial Praetor. She was ousted from power by Sela, and rumor has it she's seeking powerful allies from both within the Empire and without. Sela made a lot of enemies over the years. This could be their chance to settle old scores. Goodbye. Packed and ready. The USS Tucker is waiting for me at the Starbase. They'll be taking me to the Hoba system. Maybe this time we'll find the clues we need to solve this mystery. Goodbye. The Romulans were once a passionate, vibrant species, but the loss of their homeworld has left them in ashes. The survivors of the Cataclysm have gathered under out new allies from the Delta Quadrant in an attempt to rebuild the Romulans' former might. And now, she seeks revenge for a lost world and a broken people. Thank you for your assistance. Is there anything else you want to know? Never! The crew of the Tucker can handle anything the Romulans can throw at us. Besides, you can only learn so much from sensors and probes. To really understand the Hoba system, we need to be there. The Romulans are touchy. Watch what you say or you'll be in for a fight. 
The Remans don't even bother talking before they fire, so I think they're more dangerous than the Romulans. Sela's found some new allies, too. They're from the Delta Quadrant, but I don't know much about them. Wish me luck! Oh, and I'd check in with Admiral Tanay before you leave. She might have new orders for you. Goodbye.